Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please have your attention at this time. At this time, I'd like to introduce our father of the bride, Clark Sutton. If you'd like to say a few words to the bride and groom. Clark.
times I've joined and enjoyed most with Jamie have been the family celebrations that we've had. Going to Japanese steakhouses, Cheesecake Factory, and other restaurants, and the infamous van rides we've had to and from, which we won't mention. I look forward to, to spending more time with, with Jamie and Laura. As they started to date, I saw less and less of Laura uh, because Laura started to see more and more of Jamie. And now that they're together in their own place, my understanding is Jamie's a good cook, so I think we're going to intend so those. So what advice can I give to Laura and, and Jamie towards the goal of a lifelong marriage at a time where so many marriages fail? Often in life, you can learn so much from your failures as you can from your successes. Never forget, God has a way of making all things new and turning failures into successes. Above all, make God first in your life. Above each other, above your kids, above anything else. Praying together leads to a divorce rate of less than 1%. It's not easy to do, but it's certainly a goal to strive for. Never, ever stop dating. Whatever you've done for the last five years, keep on doing it. That got you here. Never take each other for granted. Communicate with each other, even when it hurts. Surround yourselves with others who share your beliefs and who will support you when you need it. Enjoy the journey and affect others' lives in a way so that their lives are better because they spent some of their time with you. Six weeks before Laura was born, I met a 19-year-old kid at a new job has become one of my best friends and one of the top DJs in the DC area. This is Mike over here. He's done more than a share of weddings. Many of us have been um, have been the couple at the altar and we all celebrate what we're celebrating today. But the goal of where we want Jamie and Lauren to get to is to what they pledge, what they vow until death do them part. Mike's done a fair share of 50th wedding anniversaries. As a matter of fact, he did Laura's grandparents' wedding anniversary, Rita and Russ Pauley. Rita's not here today with us, but she would have enjoyed today immensely, and those of you who have met Rita have been blessed by that. And Russ is here today to, to witness to what our expectations are of Laura and Jean. Obviously, I've not spent a whole lot of time with the Duncan family. Last night's rehearsal dinner was indeed a special time. For, for myself, my mom, just to, spend, just to hang out with some of your folks, and that was great. It's my belief that Laura and Jamie's foundation is strong, and I believe that your chances are as good as anyone else's to finish this race that will put a smile on God's face. So in closing, I want to give this to them. Last week I was at a gift shop shopping for a, a friend's 60th birthday party and this just happened to jump out of me and it says, the simple rules of life. Number one, love the Lord with all your heart. Number two, live as if it were your last day. Three is always say you were sorry. And four is start and end each day in prayer. I'd like to raise a glass. I'll take this one. <laughs> Congratulations on five years together, which is over 20% of your life. That's an accomplishment in and of itself. Here's to a lifelong marriage of love, hope, and joy that will last until one of you is called home. My money's on the two of you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh, so I get to announce the next speaker. Karen Lynn Sutton. 